Short History of the Battleship Washington The Battleship Washington was the second battleship of the North Carolina-class battleships. Because of the Washington Treaty, the ships had to be built with a maximum displacement of 35,000 tons and a maximum of 14-inch main armament guns. Thanks to the escalator clause the ships were armed with nine 16-inch guns instead of 12 14-inch guns. The battleship was laid down at the Philadelphia Naval Shipyard on 14 June 1938. It was launched on 1 June 1940 and commissioned in the United States Navy on 15 May 1941. The Washington was 728 feet and 9 inches long and had a beam of 108 feet and 4 inches. Her main armament consisted of nine 16-inch 45 caliber guns in three triple-gun turrets. Her secondary armament consisted out of 25-inch 38 caliber guns. The battleship was also armed with numerous anti-aircraft guns, that increased during the war. The main armored belt of the Washington was 12 inches thick. The main armored deck was up to 5.5 inches thick and the main battery gun turrets had 16-inch thick faces. To achieve a top speed of 28 knots, the battleship was powered by four General Electric steam turbines, using steam provided by oil-fired Babcock and Wilcox boilers. Rated at 121,000 shaft horsepower. After commissioning, the Washington was not able to reach her maximum speed, due to the vibration problems caused by her screws. Eventually these problems were corrected, so she could reach her designed speed, but the vibration problems never completely disappeared. After her shakedown cruise, the battleship Washington was sent to European waters in March 1942, to reinforce the Royal Navy. During her voyage in the Atlantic, she lost her rear admiral John Wilcox, who fell or washed overboard. It is not known what exactly happened. In European waters the Washington escorted with British warships, some of the Arctic convoys, which were carrying vital cargo to the Soviet Union. On 1 May 1942, the Washington was lightly damaged when the King George V sank one of the escorting destroyers, Punjabi, in a collision. The Washington sailed over the sinking wreck as depth charges exploded from the sinking destroyer. Despite the damage to radars and fire control due to shock damage and a small leak in her hull, the battleship Washington remained operational. After her return to the United States, the Washington got a refit and sailed to the Pacific on 23 August 1942. On 14 September 1942 the battleship became the flagship of Rear Admiral Lee. The Washington covered convoys and was nearly hit by a torpedo from the submarine I-15 on 27 October 1942. During the first few days of November 1942, the U.S. Navy had lost many cruisers and destroyers in the battles off Guadalcanal. Others were heavily damaged and needed repairs. This left Admiral Halsey no other choice than sending the battleships Washington and South Dakota with four destroyers to defend airfield Henderson Field at Guadalcanal. On 14 November 1942, the battleship Washington made radar contact around 2300 with a Japanese cruiser and destroyer. Both South Dakota and Washington opened fire at these ships at 2317. A few minutes later the Japanese destroyer Iron Army opened fire on the escorting U.S. Navy destroyers and gave away her position. In return Washington's secondary guns fired on Iron Army and placed several hits on the Japanese destroyer, that disabled her propulsion machinery and started a major fire. The battleship South Dakota also placed a 16-inch hit on the Iron Army and the destroyer sank several hours later. The following minutes, the U.S. destroyers were sunk or heavily damaged and the battleship South Dakota suffered an electrical failure. The Washington sailed behind the burning wrecks of the U.S. destroyers, while South Dakota sailed in front of them and was spotted by the Japanese ships. At 23.35 the Washington made radar contact with larger Japanese ships that approached the battle area. By the time the electrical power was restored, the South Dakota was close to the Japanese ships and at midnight she was illuminated by the searchlights of the heavy cruiser Otago. The battlecruiser Kirishima and the heavy cruisers Otago and Takao opened fire on the South Dakota. Still undetected by the Japanese ships, the battleship Washington opened fire with her main and secondary guns at the Kirishima.
the battlecruiser Kirishima was hit by several 16-inch and 5-inch shells. The hits from Washington disabled the battlecruiser's two forward main gun turrets, jammed her rudder and made several holes below the waterline. Then the Japanese heavy cruisers targeted the Washington, but failed to score any hits with their torpedoes or shells. The South Dakota suffered 27 hits and managed to break off the action. Washington also failed to place significant hits on the Japanese heavy cruisers and retreated. At 3.25 the battlecruiser Kirishima capsized and sank. After sinking the Kirishima, Washington returned to her duty, to screen the carriers. In late November 1942, the Washington was joined by the battleships Indiana and North Carolina and screened convoys. On 28 May 1943 the Washington went into dry dock for repairs and installation of new equipment. There was also work done on her screws, but it failed to cure the vibrations on high speed. At the end of July, the Washington returned to the Pacific. There the battleship took part in training with other ships of the fleet till November 1943. At the end of November the Washington escorted carriers. On 8 December 1943, the Washington, with the battleships North Carolina, South Dakota, Alabama, Indiana, and Massachusetts, bombarded the island Nauru. In January 1944 the Washington was escorting carriers that attacked Kwajalein Island. On 30 January 1944 the battleships Washington, Massachusetts, and Indiana and four destroyers bombarded Kwajalein Island. During this bombardment, the battleships were engaged by a shore battery and spotted Japanese guard ships. While the 16-inch guns from Washington, Massachusetts, and Indiana silenced the battery, the 5-inch guns from Washington and Indiana sank five Japanese guard ships and one auxiliary submarine chaser around 10.15. A few minutes later the battleship Washington sighted a small Japanese tanker in the lagoon and opened fire with her 5-inch guns, until the target wasn't visible anymore. The Washington resumed bombarding Kwajalein thereafter. At 1327 the secondary battery of Washington opened fire for four minutes on a LST-type ship anchored off Kwajalein Island. The second salvo hit the ship, starting a small fire and buckling the vessel amidships. After the bombardment the Washington and the two other battleships escorted the carriers again. On 1 February 1944 the Washington was damaged by a collision with the Indiana, that suddenly changed course. The Washington lost 200 foot of her bow and had to return to the United States for repairs. While under repair, her screws were changed again and the vibration problems were mostly solved. On 7 June 1944, the Washington returned to the Pacific and escorted carriers. On 13 June, battleship Washington and several other battleships were detached to bombard Saipan and Tinian. When United States Navy submarines spotted a large Japanese fleet, the Washington and the rest of the task force, sailed to meet the Japanese fleet on 18 June 1944. Admiral Spruance wanted to send the battleships Washington, North Carolina, Indiana, South Dakota, Alabama, Iowa and New Jersey forward with escorting cruisers and destroyers to engage the Japanese fleet, that included the battleships Yamato and Musashi and the battlecruisers Haruna and Congo. Despite the huge advantage in battleships, cruisers and destroyers, Admiral Lee declined, since he felt that his battleships were not trained well enough for a night engagement. The Battle of the Philippine Sea on 19 to 20 June, became a carrier battle. So the battleship Washington defended the carriers against air attacks. The Battle of the Philippine Sea was won by the United States Navy. Ironically it were submarines that sunk two large Japanese carriers and not carrier planes, that only sank one Japanese light carrier. After the battle the Washington and other battleships escorted carriers, during their missions. In September the Washington bombarded Peleliu and Angua. On 24 October 1944, the Washington took part in the Battle of Leyte Gulf. The United States Navy Task Force under Admiral Halsey was split up in three task groups, each consisting of two fast battleships. The Washington was included in Task Group 38.4 with the battleship Alabama. Task Group 38.4 was near Sama with Task Group 38.2 that included the battleships New Jersey and Iowa.
During the day, United States carrier planes attacked Japanese warships and sunk a large Japanese battleship and claimed to have heavily damaged other Japanese battleships. Admiral Halsey assumed incorrectly that the Japanese ships under Kurita were retreating. Vice Admiral Lee assumed that the Japanese would continue their attack and would come through Sama during the night. During the evening another Japanese fleet under Admiral Ozawa was discovered, consisting out of two battleships and one large and two smaller carriers. Admiral Ozawa was tasked with luring the United States Navy away, so that Admiral Kurita could attack the landing ships, that landed on the Philippine beaches. Task Group 38.3 got ready for a surface night engagement with the battleships Massachusetts and South Dakota against the Japanese ships under Admiral Ozawa. Halsey intervened and ordered to call it off, because he wanted to attack the Japanese fleet under Admiral Ozawa with all his available forces. Task Groups 38.3, 38.4 and 38.2 had to rendezvous and the next morning they lost contact with Ozawa's ships. Eventually they made contact and carrier planes attacked Ozawa's ships. Pilots got orders to cripple the Japanese ships, so that the battleships could finish them off. While Ozawa's ships came into gun range of the battleship Washington and five other battleships, they had to turn around. Because two Japanese battleships and two battlecruisers under Admiral Kurita attacked escort carriers and destroyers under Admiral Sprague off Sama. Halsey's battleships arrived an hour, after the Japanese ships under Kurita had already retreated. After the Battle of Leyte Gulf, the Washington escorted the carriers, while they attacked targets in the Philippines. Despite going through Typhoon Cobra on 17 December 1944, the Washington suffered no major damage. In February 1945 the battleship Washington provided fire support for the invasion of Iwo Jima. On 24 March 1945 the Washington bombarded Japanese positions on Okinawa. Thereafter she escorted the carriers on their assault against Japanese targets. On 19 April, the Washington again bombarded Japanese positions on Okinawa. Late May 1945 the Washington was sent back to the United States for an overhaul, that lasted until after the end of World War II. In November 1945, she was sent to Great Britain to embark U.S. soldiers that were sent home. Finally the Washington was decommissioned on 27 June 1947. On 24 May 1961 the battleship Washington was sold for scrap.